And now I've told you all these rules, right? All these things we've talked about. I'm telling you that none of those rules are real. Everything is a suggestion. Everybody makes games their own way. There's no right way of doing it. There's bad ways of doing it, but there's no right ways of doing it. Always be trying to figure out what works best for you. Never listen to somebody else. Don't listen to me, right? The things I tell you are from my experience. They're things I've learned. I genuinely think that these are good advice. If it doesn't work in your studio, if it doesn't work with the way you make games, who am I? I'm just a game developer. I've been around for a while, but the way you work might be better for you. The reason I give you these rules, the reason I give you these slides is so that you can go, oh, that sounds smart, or I should try that. And then you test whether it fits in your life. And if it doesn't, don't do it. Don't let anybody tell you how to make games. Um, just don't be arrogant enough to think that you have all the answers yet. I don't think I have all the answers. You might have better answers. If you figure them out, let me know. And let me know because you're a community, right? Game development is a together thing. And the best thing you can do, the best thing anybody can do is help the people that are next to you and under you. Help the people that are up and coming. Use your experience to teach others. Don't try to network up, right? Don't try to meet famous people or big developers. No, no. Try to help the developers around you. Because when one of them has a success, all of you have a success, right? So help each other out. Please help each other out. Help each other with networking. Help each other with knowledge. Help each other with playtesting each other's game. Be a community. That's how you make things better for everybody. Be a community. Work together. Share your opportunities. Share your network. Share everything. When we started in the Netherlands in 2010, there was no indie scene. And now there's hundreds. And everything about that is good for us. The government now cares. The, the amount of publishers to check out Dutch games is much bigger. People look at Dutch design as an important design, game design thing. Ten years ago, that didn't exist. We just all helped each other out, be bad at making video games. And now here we are. So help each other out. Be a community. And then finally, there's never enough time to do everything you want. I don't think there was enough time to do all these slides. I think I went over time, probably. Um, it's better to underpromise, right? It's better to promise less than what you want to talk about and then over deliver, right? Um, in my case, 25 was way too much. I should have gone with like 15 tips. That would have made this talk much better. But I said 25 tips. And, you know, if I say 25 tips, I'm going to do 25 tips. But I definitely overscoped. This is a problem that you will have as a game developer for the rest of your life. You will always overscope. Keep that in mind. And then scope lower. <laughs> Always scope down. Don't promise a talk with 25 tips. Promise a talk with 10 tips. And then just have 15 tips. Way smarter. Don't be like me. And then finally, ask questions. When you have an opportunity, when you can, ask questions. Ask questions of people with different experience, people with more experience, people that have been in the industry, people that are new to the industry. Be curious. Always be asking questions. Always be trying to figure new things out. Always be curious. That was it. Thank you so much. Shukram. Mm -hmm.